Day 23, it is time to crush back and biceps for a complete pool workout. What's going on S Factor Fitness team? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the four week transformation challenge. This is week four. This is the second workout of the fourth week. We are getting it in. This workout is for any and everybody. This is a pool workout. We're training back and we're training biceps. All pulling movements. We have five exercises for back and four exercises for biceps. So let's get it in. First up we have Renegade Rose. If you have not seen a renegade row, this is one of the best. We're doing dumbbell rows while staying in this position. We're also going to pass the dumbbell over to our other hand, giving us a nice slight torso twist. We're really engaging that core to the max. You want to make sure that you keep your feet outside of shoulder width just so you can help you with that balance. And you also want to try to keep your feet both on the ground when you're doing your row. But most importantly, just give it everything you got. Next up, we have one of my favorites. We have dumbbell pullovers. I love pullovers. They really target those lats and also get a nice chest squeeze at the top of the movement. But we're not here for chest. We're definitely here for back. And pullovers is one of the best. It's okay to let the dumbbell tap the ground, but what you wanna do is make sure everything is slow and controlled. Really allow your back to stretch when that dumbbell hits the floor. Let's get into some bent over rows. On these rows, you will notice I'm taking my dumbbell and I'm lowering it to the other side of my body. So I'm using my foot on the opposite side as my target. I'm lowering the dumbbell to my opposite foot and really allowing my back to stretch. That stretches everything. And then when we pull up, we wanna pull up and make sure we really squeeze the back, really get that back engaged. You should feel this. You should notice that your back is working. As long as you give it everything you got, you should be okay. Next up, we have a T-bar variation. One dumbbell, T-bar row. So I guess we can call this a T-dumbbell row. Make sure you drop that dumbbell as close to the ground as possible, really allowing your back to stretch. I say that a lot and I really mean it. You really want to stretch the muscles on your back and make sure you set yourself up for that nice contraction. Really squeeze at the top of all your movements. That's gonna play a big part when we're talking about really breaking down those fibers. All right, finishing up with the back, we have some lat pulls. So if we're in the gym, we'll most likely grab a cable, place it at the top pulley, and pull through, really squeezing those lats, trying to give it everything we got. So here, we're gonna take that same motion with the dumbbell. Yes, you will have to use some momentum, and you probably can't go as heavy as you would like, but that's okay. What we're focused on is the blood, the blood in the back, that contraction you get when you pull that dumbbell through. You want to pull that dumbbell close to your body and really squeeze your back. Guarantee you should feel this. All right, let's talk about biceps. It's biceps time. It's time to get those biceps pumped, which they're probably already pumped from all those back movements, but that's neither here nor there. First up, we have a Zotman curl. A Zotaman curl. I know I'm butchering that all over the place. It's a Z curl. Let's call it a Z curl. What we're doing is simply curling up in a regular motion. And then at the top, we're going to twist and we're going to control on the way down, really engaging the forearms. Slow and controlled on the way up, twist at the top, lower on the way down, control the negative. Everything we do is always slow and controlled simply because we want to make sure those muscles are working. We don't want to run through our movements super fast. Everything's slow and controlled. Take your time. Keep 
keep those elbows tucked. Next up, concentration curls. I love concentration curls. These are more of a dead hang concentration curl. Notice how my arm is just hanging. That's why we call it a hanging curl. Using nothing but the arm, the bicep, the forearm to move this weight. Slow and controlled. Curling in your normal fashion, but not using your knee for rest. So that makes the difference from a concentration curl and a hang curl. All right, two more exercises and then we're done. Now we have the dumbbell drag curl. Drag curls are going to be key when we're talking about building that peak. Notice how I'm squeezing at the top of the movement. I'm keeping that dumbbell close to my body. The dumbbell is actually moving in a nice vertical pattern and not changing its course. That's what you want to make sure what you're doing with these drag curls. Keep that dumbbell in position. Pull your elbow back slightly and really squeeze that bicep at the top. That contraction is going to be everything. This peak is what we're looking for. Last up, we have some lying curls. These curls right here are allowing you to get nothing but a major contraction at the top of the movement. The dumbbell is so heavy that it's forcing you to squeeze even more. Once you get past your torso, you get close to that chest because all that weight is coming down. Your bicep is now full of blood. And that's why I like the lying bicep curl. Control it on the way down, control it on the way up. Everything's slow and controlled. That's a wrap for our pool workout. Back, biceps, all burnt out. Workout two of week four, complete. You saw it here, you watched all the movements. Now I need you to go back, perform them. I need you to go chase that growth. Tear up your muscle fibers, they will grow back bigger and stronger. We're here for muscle building, we're here for strength. You guys are killing it. Stick through this challenge. If you are new to this channel and you aren't familiar with the four week transformation challenge, go check it out now. Start from day one. All the workouts, they progress. We go from easy and we get all the way tough. This is week four right here. This is a week four workout right here. We're killing it and by now we are drained. With the amount of reps and sets that we're doing in this workout, no one should be walking around smiling.